Hi, Anne. Oh, I'm I so sorry. Can you turn that off? We're going to turn off the air conditioning in here real quick so we can uh, get you all the way. Michelle, I'm going to go ahead and mute here. All right. So, everybody, this is Ann C. And, Hi, everybody. Uh, if you guys can hear her, let, please let me know if you guys can hear this well. I, I need audio check. Yeah, I hear you. I heard her good. Good job. Everybody in the chat, give give me a, a, a one if you can hear her well. Hello, everybody. <laughs> one. One. <laughs> okay. So, uh, well, welcome, man. We've been uh, really worried about you um, for a long time, for a few weeks, uh, when this all happened. Um, and, uh, cause you know, of course, Chuck is like, she, she lives in Nashville and we're like, oh my gosh, you know, and we hadn't seen or heard from you. And, and so we were really worried about you. And, um, uh, so we're going to put you on here to tell us your story. Tell us what happened. Tell us what, you know, tell us what you see. Um, you just, you just lay it all down. Okay. Well, for one thing, the media, because I was listening to the radio in my car while all this went on, um, they give half truths. It's half. Absolutely. Um, uh, what it is, is they didn't tell the real devastation. Um, Asheville and surrounding areas are destroyed, literally destroyed. Um, where I live, I live in Fairview, and it's outside of Asheville. I live between Chimney Rock and Asheville, like right in the middle. Right. Now, where I live, um, it's like an earthquake. The roads are crumbled. The roads are crumbled. Uh, one of the roads, there's a big square, like something hit it, and it's completely black. There's not even any dirt underneath it. So I don't even wow. know if you're going to fix that one. Um, and then I went on a road and it actually buckled up on me and my car was sideways. <laughs> I was trying oh, to get Lord. to the store and this cop was right there looking at me like, oh my God. Um, but the roads are all buckled up and everything. Uh, Chimney Rock looks like it was bombed literally bombed and and the only way to get up to chimney walk now is by mule and horse wow. Wow. Um, now when this all i should start at how it all happened okay um on the 26th it started to rain and we okay let me explain first asheville has unpredicted weather uh, all the time we, we go from one extreme to the other so you know that hurricane coming here who could ever believe that because our weather's always been like that <clears throat> and we had real real heavy rain uh, but it wasn't that windy it, it was only a couple wind bursts but i'm letting the dog out <laughs> She started carrying on as soon as I started talking. <laughs> um, but so that wasn't the problem. And I don't believe it was an extraordinary amount of rain. I think it might have been 12 inches or 14. Um, but it smelled like sulfur. My clothes smelled like sulfur because I had to rinse a few things out and hang them on my fence and the odor was unbelievable of sulfur now that's geoengineering what they do is they put sulfur in the air so i can't even drink my well water now because it's sulfur um so they did have a hand in it uh the, the way the media lied is because they made it sound like 
oh, neighbors are helping neighbors. You, you know, they, this person is doing that for someone, and that person is doing this for somebody. That is a lie. People acted so wickedly doing the whole thing. In fact, my neighbors did four wheeling and all that stuff the first day, and then the other times they disappeared. They said, my neighbors said, well, tell us if you need anything, and then you never hear from them again because they're hiding out. They don't want you to ask them. Right? Nice. So that was a total lie uh, that I didn't see it. I didn't see neighbors helping neighbors and being all nice and all that stuff. And they did not tell about the people in the trees. Um, the linemen are horrified because those visions, they can't get out of their head. Now, what would cause several people to be in trees dead? One baby was in a tree and a bear was eating that baby. Now, that lineman is in serious problems seeing that because they yeah, can't you... get over it. But a yeah. bear was actually eating a baby in a tree. Wow. So, see, they did not, the only way that that could happen is an explosion. And then the, the media actually said that it looked like um, Western North Carolina was bombed. And it was. They did tell the truth about that. But they made it look like, you know, oh, it just looks that way. So, and give me one second. I'm going to go ahead. There's been some people that have come in. Um, I, if anybody's seen my notification, this is Ann C. Uh, we've known her for, she's been around YouTube for a long time. She's been a part of our community. And she lives, uh, she lives in Asheville or outside of a little outside of Asheville. But so she's telling her story. Uh, she's telling her story on the devastation and what she's seen, what she's going through, what, you know. So she is our special guest tonight. And I think it's very important because we're getting it directly for, from somebody. Um, somebody that is a, a big part of our community. And so, um, I, I'm so very thankful, Anne, that you're here with us. I don't want to take too much more time, uh, with my voice. I want to hear your voice if it, but we might have some questions for you. So please on the panel, uh, if you have any questions or anybody in the chat, maybe if you want to put a question for, for Anne, um, I can go ahead and, and let her know and have her answered if you have a question. Okay. Okay, that sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah, that sounds really good. Um, so I just got my power back Friday. Uh, the National Guard didn't show up uh, for 12 days. So I want to explain to everybody. Everyone needs to be prepared. Because they're saying Asheville had a hurricane hit. That's not true. That I, I lived in Florida for 20 years. I went to Florida when I was a teenager. And I stayed there for 20 years. I was in every natural disaster you can think of. Tornadoes. Hurricanes. Everything. And nothing. Nothing can compare to this. We are we are being attacked, and what it is is chimney rock has lithium. Chimney rock, that's where the last of the Mohicans was made. Also, Dirty Dancing, that was filmed in Lake Lore. Lake Lore has a dam right there. Well, chimney rock in Lake Lore is untouched. It's pristine. It's the most, Western North Carolina, there's parts here that, that are the most beautiful landscapes that you'll ever want to see. Chimney Rock is one of those. Okay, 
they have a lithium. They want to dig for that lithium and get and get that out. They also, uh, what it is, they've been trying to buy my property, and I don't answer them. And whenever they put these HOA communities in, people usually take them to court because we don't want them. We don't want their modernized HOA communities. We want to live free. Well, I think they got sick and tired of people taking them to court. So then they decided to bomb us and get the land that way. And I'm trying to tell people in Chimney Rock, do not sell your property. I mean, everybody needs to get together, rebuild, and stay put. Um. Go ahead, Kip. I, I, I've got I'm, a question. Yeah. Um, so you mentioned something there, and I'm. it's kind of like I'm having a, a, a an oh, wow moment. Because in Michelle, last week, Michelle showed a video, and the lady was talking about all of her property now is sand, and it's all that lithium. I mean, you know, it's just putting two and two together and thinking, you know, um, what you're saying and about, the explosions and it seems like they've also freed up a lot of that lithium as well possibly in that scenario yeah i i think it's several things combined i think they want to put condos up and hoa communities and and then of course they want to dig for the lithium and of course we have a lot of gems we have a lot of metals so it's not only lithium it's other things too, because if you if you look at Chimney Rock, you can see it's untouched. It's always been untouched. And so if they're digging, if they start mining in those places, they're gonna find all kinds of stuff. Okay, that so the question I have dollars on. about um, Chimney Rock. So in the video that I did welcoming, um, welcoming back Michelle's channel and kind of announcing that you might be on this live. I don't know if you saw it, but there was a, fit, a one picture I showed in there and it was, of it said chimney rock and it had adventure golf on there and it looked like it was a, a war zone. Was that not chimney rock? Yeah. Chimney rock looks like it was bombed. The, the building, okay. they, you can't, yeah. You can't get up there because you have to use a horse or a mule because okay. there's nothing but rocks in the road in other words it's not possible at all because it looks like someone put a bomb there and blew everything yeah. up that's what it looks like that's what chimney rock looks like now where i live it looks like an earthquake uh, because of major roads in fact the neighbors told me the 16 trees just pulled out of the ground within a matter of seconds and they were healthy trees. The tree that fell in my yard was a very healthy young tree. So it wasn't old trees that were ready to go anyway. Real, real quick, Anne, uh, let me ask you this question. Um, do you think that dams were broken? Yeah, um, we are told we can't get up there uh, because they're, they're, they're saying that we could get up to the dams. And we could get evidence. That would be evidence. But see, what they did is when, when all this started, they took our communication right. down completely. You couldn't get AT&T. You couldn't get Verizon. You couldn't get anything. And they did that purposely because they knew that we'd be up there trying to find out what the heck is going on. Right. Because I'm not a coward. Right. In fact, I'm pretty macho. I'm <laughs> a woman. I am. I've always been that way, and I've always been a fighter. Right. And I would have been up there trying to find out what the heck is going on. But they took our communication, they took our power, you know, our electricity. So they took away our ability to help anybody or to do anything. Or and to do anything. They, because I've got two vehicles. They're old, but I do have two vehicles. I could have taken one of those vehicles. And, and help people and done things and uh, uh, trailer parks. You know, a lot of Hispanics live in trailer parks. Well, those are gone, mm. completely gone. Um, uh, we have so many homeless 
that are living uh, at a school. Uh, a lot of children die. Wow. Uh, a lot of children. It looks like to me, you see where I live, I'm not, I'm not rich or anything, I'm from poor, on the poor side, but the people around me are very wealthy. So they're, they don't, they don't See, but they hit the, the places where the poor people live because they were just trailer parks out. And I noticed that every place that now Jimmy Rock is different because they want the lithium. So that's what I mean. It's like there's different facets to this whole thing. Like if you look at Mesa's, they have all these different facets. Everything is controlled by Mesa's. Yep. But it's just like with sets of cat. There's different facets to it. It's almost like let's get rid of let's uh what's that word they now we say let's kill a stone killing two birds at one time. I can't remember how it goes. But anyway, they tried to take care of several uh problems at one time. You know, yeah. because they want the land. They want HOAs. They want the uh, the minerals, the uh, lithium, and all that stuff in Chimney Well. Um, so there's different. They want the poor people out. Of course, they want the um, Hispanics that live in Trail Parks, where they want them out. So they thought they were going to do all these things at once. So that's where you're seeing earthquake, bombing. Flooding. See, you're seeing all these uh, things together. And with the sulfur, they put that in the air, a stratosphere and a stratosphere of sulfur. So that's how they, they, they can change, change the weather. Well, but every, anybody in their right mind knows a hurricane did not hit here. It, you, you know, know we uh, always have the after effects. A hurricane, you know, where it's just rain and maybe mudslides or something like that. Right. You know, like everybody has. Right. But this was not. Real quick. This was not done by a hurricane. Right. Real quick. So real quick. Um, we got a little echo going. Little um, so do, uh, do you do you have your YouTube up? No, it, it wouldn't. Uh, my computer, they made the, my computer so slow that I can't even get anything on it. I even messaged you on the comment section and it wouldn't even go through. Yeah. So you don't. You know, they've been doing this stuff to me for a long time. So, so you, don't, you, don't, you don't have any of the live up or anything uh, anywhere else. You just You're just on the phone talking to me? Yeah, I'm just okay. on the phone. It might. I think she's just. I think we're being. I think it's um, actually an attack. I do. I really think it's just this. This stream is being attacked. Um, I wanted to ask you. Well, so they took. Uh, so did the phone service go out before the electricity? That's what I've been hearing. I don't. I. You know, we don't know. But is that what you experienced? I experienced everything down at one time. And they said there was a lot of wind and all that stuff. Well, I have a fan that's in the bathroom. Every time it's windy, that thing goes off real loud. Well, it only went off like two times. So we didn't have much wind. So they can't blame it on that. Um, we did have a lot of rain, but Asheville gets a lot of rain. Right. I mean, it really wasn't that much different. Than we normally get. And then what? And uh, I'm sorry, babe. I don't mean to interrupt yeah. you, but I. So, uh, in Florida, uh, where it touched down, it was five over 500 miles away from you, and mm -hmm. um, that's where you have to think. There's no way a hurricane is going to have that much effect 500 miles away. There's just no way. There's no way. It's impossible. And, and people have to realize that the truth is hitting us in the face and we better see it. The 
because I can tell you when there's an emergency, unless you have family or you have close friends, you are on your own. See, so on your own, your neighbors will turn against you on a dime. Wow. And so there's a group. Go ahead. So, yeah, just I've got a couple questions. Um, because the media, of course, they're they're you know pushing out just like we showed last week, neighbor helping neighbor. But what you're saying is it's every man for himself. My other questions are: Are your neighbors awake? Do they believe that it was from a hurricane, and uh, like you do, or are they asleep? And is there is still yet is there any significant help or organization for the people that are affected by this yet? Uh, most people in Asheville are asleep. My neighbors are asleep. There's only one neighbor that I met when I uh, came here 10 years ago from Franklin. I used to live in Franklin, North Carolina. Uh, he was the only one that was awake. People are like zombies here. Wow. They, nothing computes. Just like, okay. There was a lot of chemtrails one day. I mean, the skies were loaded. And you, I mean, it was on, you, I mean, it was right in front of your face. I, this guy that was helping me, uh, he was, you know, wanted to roll the cart, you know, and take my groceries out to the thing. Well, I said, don't you see the chemtrails up there? And he goes, oh, no, I don't see anything. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yes, you're breaking up now. I can't hear anything. Go ahead. I wonder if it's almost like uh, he told her, "I feel sorry for you, Michelle." <laughs> um, real quick, I just uh, I I'm having other people come in, so I do want to explain to them what what this interview is all about. So okay. our, our good friend Ann C. Uh, Liz uh, outside of Asheville. And so she went through the devastation. She's there. Uh, she's living it. Um, so we have been uh, trying to get a hold of her to uh, so we can get her to tell her story. So this is what this live is about. Um, so everybody, we can get it firsthand. Um, she's very much awake and uh, we really much appreciate that. She's always been, she's been around for years, but I just wanted to give all the people that are popping in, uh, I wanted them to give give them a heads up to what what we're talking about so that they understand. I did want to say hello to KK Mike. Uh, welcome KK. I haven't seen you in such a long time. I hope you're doing well, brother Mike Smith. Uh, let me just uh, you know, welcome everybody in. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted everybody to know what we're talking about and how important this interview is. So we're doing it on the phone because she couldn't get on the stream yard. So uh, please bear with us. But uh, continue on, Ann. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Now, when this all started, um, of course, we had no communication and all that stuff. Well, my daughter had to go through all kinds of rubble to even get to me. And I'll never forget her face when she saw me. <laughs> She didn't know if I was dead or alive, but I don't know. She went through those roads like she did. I don't know to this day. And I don't know the angel had was. Picked her up and brought her here. But that because I don't know how she did it. Because the roads are all torn up. Wow. That's amazing. Wow. I mean, all torn all buckled. I mean, you know, like I said, when I was driving, trying to get, uh, to, you know, get water and all that stuff, my car actually went on its side. The, the road was so buckled up. Oh my gosh. It's everywhere. Wow. It's, it's everywhere. I don't know how she got to me. But what so I your daughter is... Your, your daughter is out during all of this? Your daughter is out because she doesn't know if you're alive and she's looking for you during this. She was, yeah. Yeah. Wow. She lives seven miles from here. Now, she lives, she lives in an apartment, so it wasn't hit. 
because it's an expensive apartment. And uh, so that apartment building was not hit. Wow. But uh, she went to look for me. Yeah, I mean, what she had to go through, I'll never forget. You said never. you said she lived seven miles. She lives about seven miles from you. Uh huh. Yeah. And so she she unfor she was fortunate not to get uh get hit, but she went looking for you, and uh you mm -hmm. don't know how she got there, but she found you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, she came. She came to the. She pulled up, and and the look on her face, I'll never forget. Yeah. Oh my God! Oh, I'm sure she was just. Uh, she was this, terrible. I mean, just. Uh, oh, but just elated that you're alive. You know, I mean. Yeah, and then she went to look for her ex-husband because she had heard that a tree fell on his house, and I said, I said, Stacy, I said, please be careful, you know. So she went through all kinds of rubble trying to find him, and luckily wow. he was okay. Wow. But, wow. But the main important thing is water. When something, you can live without electricity. You know, it's hard, but you can do it. But you yeah. have to have water. Anybody yeah. that has land, get a, um, get a pump. Get a pump. Because I'll tell you, primary, we have primary water. The problem is the government wants to take our, our water and they want to control it but there's primary water everywhere even in yep. the desert have you heard stories or any uh... well you know and have you heard have you heard any stories yet of um them saying that the water is contaminated or any hintings about that yet? Um, I haven't heard anything about that. Being used in, you know, um, they're going to say that because they want the land. Sure. You know, nobody wants FEMA. FEMA, I've been investigating FEMA for years. No one should have anything to do with them. Ever. Forever. They're bad. They're more than bad. They're yeah. like DHS. They're murderers. Yeah. I tell you one thing, if a if a FEMA guy comes to my property, I'm gonna be so angry, I don't know how I'm gonna control myself. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna control myself. He better not step foot on my property. Anybody And I'm just so me? sorry. I, I mean like if I can only imagine, and like your world has been turned upside down, and and we're that kind of gets lost in all of it, you know. Um, I I yeah, hope well, you're I doing know. okay. Yeah, well, I was awake when I was a child because I was in a uh, children's prison, what they call an orphanage, but it's not; it's a prison. Uh and and I and I, that's the way my life was. I lived a prison life. Wow. As, a, as a child, because I was six years old. And of course, my roommate was murdered. That's when I first started my first gang. I was six years old and I started a gang because I wanted that woman dead. That <laughs> killed her. You know, and, wow. and they, they did end up taking her, her away, you know, uh, uh, for what she did. But the thing of it is, that's how I started out. But it's actually a good thing because I can see things that other people can't see. The problem is nobody listens anymore. They don't. Right. Nobody does. You used to be able to tell people and, and they would take it in and they'd say, yeah, I'm going to be careful. I'm going to really look into that. I'm going to investigate. But they don't do that no more. Those days are over. It's almost like people have made their decision. And, and they don't want to be with Jesus Christ. They don't want that, that heavenly life. It, it's not in their heart. Well, they, they don't know it. They don't, they don't, that's, that's the whole problem with society today 
is that they're they're causing that division to where people are are not looking where they need to be looking um mm -hmm. and you know just like the flat earth and and everything uh you know that takes scott out of, out of the equation um therefore you know yeah the big bang that's why we're spinning we're not spinning but i, I just just a small example uh i wanted to ask you real quick um so did you have in, uh any damage to your uh property or anything like that um i haven't noticed it i have a dirt basement i haven't been down there there was a real big snake in front of there so <laughs> <laughs> i i haven't gone down there yet i don't think so i think they tried whatever you know when they use those up uh, i noticed that project Bluebeam isn't mentioned anymore on the computer in fact they kind of cover it up now um, when it was in vietnam i wanted to explain this because i've seen a lot of documentaries and i did a lot of research on this in vietnam um they used what they call, call blue beam and they would use these energy weapons well first of all the rain came just like it did here First of all, the rain came, and then they used the the uh, the weapons, the energy weapons, right. because you couldn't hear them. Just like here, you couldn't hear. If there was a plane above, I wouldn't have been able to hear it. And so they use these energy weapons, and that's how they destroy the roads and and houses and stuff like that. But Project Blue Beam. If you look it up on the computer, there is no information about that anymore. But that's actually the Vietnam weapons. And of course, they, they, they're they very far advanced. Now, I did see a video in Mexico. They weren't supposed to show this. It was kind of by accident. But I could see the blue beam and they had the earthquake. And, and that's what was here, the earthquake. You know, everything was like an earthquake. And and um, but I could see actually the blue beam. They could say that that's what happened in paradise, and that's what happened in Maui. Absolutely right. And and, I, and anyone that talks about it, anyone that mentions that word blue beam or says that, you're immediately discounted and uh, labeled as a as a conspiracy nut, and you're just an idiot. Yeah, yeah, because they make it look like Blue Beam is actually aliens coming down and taking you to their planet. You know, it's crazy, yeah. and, and that's not what Project Blue Beam is. It was it was those weapons, those uh, directed energy weapons. I just wanted to uh, uh, come in real quick. I'm, I don't want to I, I don't want to take your thunder away because I really want to hear everything you have to say. Um, so uh, there was a comment. Uh, there was a comment. Uh, uh, with a, a person that I've known for a very long time that said he was really surprised uh, that I was doing this because he thought that I was going to say it was fake. Um, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> all right. That was KK, which is okay, KK, because and uh, him and I had a, a little argument over Maui. Um, so the whole Maui thing, we know it happened. We weren't we're not we're not saying it didn't happen the way it happened wasn't the way it happened um when i did that live which got taken down um was the biggest live i've ever had but it was taken down eventually um what i was trying to point out was that the people how they uh indoctrinate everything and put out so much propaganda um that's what i was showing during the maui live it wasn't it, it was all the all the actors and all the people that were showing fake videos that was uh, that was what the live was about correct dub absolutely okay and if i could at this point let me try to maybe again reinstate fake until proven real does not say everything is fake right it says we're going to verify for ourselves what our feelings and thinking is on the situation. It doesn't, we don't say everything's fake. 
but we will look at everything that we question and determine with our own judgment which side of the fence we're on on that event, whatever the hey, event may be. Quite, quite often, often, quite often the narrative is fake. Hold on. Real quick, I was just going to say... Uh, we know they're liars. You know, the media, the government, they all lie to us. Why should we ever give them the benefit of the doubt when they tell us anything? You know, so we verify. That's what it's all about right there. Because that's why everybody's brainwashed and programmed because they believe we went to the moon. They believe we evolved from monkeys. They believe the pandemic. You know what I mean? So we're going to say everything's fake. That doesn't mean everything's fake. That means we're going to prove it. It's got to be proved to us. We don't take their, you know, we don't take what they're saying as fact until we prove it. Right. But that's all I wanted to say. Go ahead. Go ahead, Kip. Yeah. Kip. I'm on Kip. <laughs> we Kip go. I don't know. Maybe he went to get a drink or something. Okay. So uh, continue on, and uh, yeah, thank you for letting us cut in. Um, I just want to let you know, everybody uh, uh, in this chat is is sending you much love and much prayers. Um, everybody is 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 very supportive of you. I just want to let you know, since you can't see it, um, but uh, yeah, everybody's uh, you know rooting for you and sending you a lot of love. Okay, so I just want to let you know that. Um, oh, I love I love everybody too. I'm, I'm basically a shy person, and uh, when I went back to college, they said when I did my essays, they said it's hard to fo you're you don't focus. You go from one subject to the other, so that makes you know makes me feel well. If I start talking, you know, I keep that in mind. You know, I try to, you know, keep my focus because I've got that ADHD. <laughs> Right. So continue on with your story. We, I, I, I could go on for hours listening to you. So please continue on. Yeah, fair this enough. is your show. <laughs> I tell you that hyperactivity is so bad. Mm. And my daughter was hyper too. <laughs> She's not so much anymore though. But um, yeah, uh, the communication thing. That was really bad. You know, my daughter bought me an AT and T phone, and it was spotty and everything. But I could still message. We could message, you know, each other. And then I got my power back on Friday. But the communication thing that should be somebody should, you know, be sued for that because people. Oh, another thing they said on the radio. Listen to this one. They said. Well, um, if you, there's no communication. So if you have a heart attack worrying about your loved ones, oh, well, don't call 911 because we're not going to help you. Wow. That's what they said on the radio. Yeah. I went through there and punched that guy off. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we don't rely on the government because you know what? They're all in on it. You know, it's it's so crazy. They're everybody, you know, you said you said it took 12 days for the military to get there, correct? Yeah. 12 days. 12 days. Wow. Our own our own military. That should mean that should tell people a lot. And which we already know. But 12 days to get there? Yeah. 12 days, and I'm in, in the average house price here, of course, um, and like I said, I'm the, one of the poor ones. I stick out like a small. But the, the average price for a house here is like almost $800,000. Wow. And it still took them 12. It still took them 12 days. They don't care if, they don't care if people have money or they don't anymore. No. You know, they want their properties. They, they could care less. Hey Ann, can I ask you a question real quick? Is uh is the is the Biltmore still up? The Biltmore house, yes, it stood. Yeah, it didn't. Yeah, you know it would. Any type of damage. Hmm. Any type. Yeah, that's uh, that's haunted. That's an evil thing, and that stood. Hmm. Yeah, of course. Yeah. 
Yeah. Then you realize to, you know, because I'm awake, you know, I know a lot of things and, I don't, you know, I investigate everything and all that. But you don't realize the evilness of the people. Yeah, because they just don't. What the what what the media was showing, the social media that we, because of course we don't watch the news, but you know we get some, you know what the news is giving out and stuff. But the social media platform, see, my uh, they they you know they were showing what I showed last week. They were showing that uh, it was the community that came together and that was helping everybody, and you didn't see that at all. No. Wow. No, no, that was all fake. In fact, a lot of those YouTubers don't believe them because they're fake. Uh, the only one that I, would, that I trusted is that one, I guess you showed it with that uh, girl. She was um, in Spruce Pines and she was wiping her tears away trying to talk. No, she was right. She, she was the true one. But the rest of them, no. They're all fakers. Yeah. Now, they're not going to tell you the truth. And the thing of it is, if somebody tells you that it's a hurricane, don't believe anything they say because they're fakers. Yeah. They're fakers. Oh, oh yeah. A hurricane came and it and it hit the mountains. Chimney Rock is right in the mountains. In fact, the mountains are so high if you, if you look at that movie. The, uh, last of the Mohicans, right? The mountains surround, surround Chimney Rock. Here's Chimney Rock, and between these huge, giant mountains. I just like to say, mountain. real quick, sorry that I like the last of the Mohicans movies. By the way, you know what I mean. Well, the one, I and all the music them. and all the just manliness of it. But anyway, sorry. <laughs> Go back to you. Yeah, I like that movie a lot. Um, but the thing of it is, is I have to go 10 miles. I go 10 miles to get to Chimney Rock. I used to go there a lot. And you got to go straight up a mountain. And then after you get straight up in the mountain, there's still high mountains all around it. So there's no way that right. a hurricane hit here. There's no way. And that's where you know who's telling the truth or not. If somebody says, well, I don't know why Asheville and surrounding areas were destroyed. You know, I don't know. Well, that's a good answer. Because you don't know. But you know yeah. it's not a hurricane. Right. Yeah. But and, you... and, and the thing of it is, is, and then, of course, these people, now these, I believe these people, they said, go to, try to get to that dam. And get all the evidence that you can because they could have opened all, up all these dams. And dams, I, I need to tell you this. Everybody needs to know this. A Native American from California, he is a engineer. He's about maybe 70 years old. And that's all he's ever done is worked on dams. And he said that not one dam should have ever been built anywhere we don't need dams now why would they build dams to control the people Later on, they can open them up and destroy the whole place yes that makes yeah. sense they're weapons yes just like the 5g yeah well, and also you're controlling the power yeah yeah because you're if you're not letting the if you're not letting the water flow you're controlling the flow yeah. of water which is the power yeah. And have you heard uh, other people talk about these 20 and 30 foot walls of water that they experienced? No, I haven't heard that. 20 or 30. No, because 14 inches, they said, was in Asheville. That's really not enough to cause what caused here. We've had rains like that before. And then when I woke oh, oh I gotta tell you this. Okay, this happened Thursday. When I woke up on Friday, 
the sky was gray all the way down at the bottom. In other words, you could not see anything. I had my two cars parked right in front of my house and you could not see those cars. Wow. It was all gray. It wasn't smoke, but it was some kind of a chemical. I don't know what it was. It like that smart that smoke, smart know. fog, smart fog, nano fog. Yeah. And yeah. you know what your elevation is? My elevation is 2,000 square feet. Your height? How far above sea level? Uh, she said 2,000 square feet or two, oh, her uh, elevation. Yeah, 2,000. Yeah. Oh, I, I 2,000. 2,000. That's pretty high. Yeah, I'm 2,000. Now, if you go to Chimney Rock from my house, you still have to go up a mountain to get to Chimney Rock. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, because my cousin was visiting one time, and he said, oh, I'm going up a mountain. He was going to my place, and I started laughing because it was a hill. <laughs> but, I mean, I was a mountain to him. I mean, I live right in the mountains. It's like the mountains are, you know. They're like hovering over me. So uh, right now, are you able to get around? Uh, are you able to get anywhere from where you're at? I can get to Food Lion. Um, it's probably maybe three miles. Um, they picked up all the wires and things like that off the road. Uh, there was so many trees that were just uprooted very very healthy trees then oh this is another thing on the radio they told the neighbors well if you want the trees out of the road then you got to do it yourself well the neighbors did it yeah they cut the trees and and got them out of the road and everything and they still wouldn't turn our power on wow yeah i didn't get the power turned on until uh friday well, we didn't have our military there uh, for for 12 days. 12 and, days. 12 days. And, and yeah, and then when you pulled up to the school, I had to laugh at this one up. When you pulled up to the school, they came out and they said, you want flushing water or do you want regular water? Oh, my <laughs> <Drinking> goodness. <water. laughs> An another question. I know this is uh, another question. What about animals? Uh, they, they're not good to animals here. I hate to say it. Um, this is what they did uh, a couple months ago. I guess it was like six months ago. And it's pretty sad. They couldn't find homes for, this is supposed to be a no kill shelter, but they lie because it's a kill shelter. And they even, this is how demonic Asheville is. They listed how many animals they murdered. Wow. How I nice. couldn't believe it. I'm still in shock over that one. I can't believe it. They said we got so many animals that we have to euthanize them. And they actually had a list of how many animals they murdered. Wow. They're nothing but a pack of murderers. I don't have anything to do with the government here and I don't want them near me. Right. I don't want I don't I don't want in fact, I used to tell people about the Bible, but now it's really hard for me because I want to punch everybody out. <laughs> right? I do. Um, I, I've seen I've seen a bunch of you know I you know skimming through the internet and stuff. I've seen a bunch of horse videos and stuff. Uh, you know, do they have a lot of horses in that area? A lot of horses. In fact, one. I don't know whose horse it was, but it got loose and it was in the backyard. <laughs> but the neighbors up the road, they have horses. So they took the horse in. And then I seen a cow that was out. Um, because they didn't know what to do. Their owners, you know, were probably dead and, they, and these animals didn't even know what to do. But there's plenty of people that have that here. So they can take them in. <laughs> So uh, there's a lot of, in Asheville, there's a lot of support for the LGBTQ community, correct?
correct? Very much so. In fact, when I, this is this is very shocking. When I left Franklin, I, you know, Franklin is just a small town. You know, we're all country. You know, that type of people. And then I moved to Asheville. <laughs> And then I heard that they had topless. That women could go downtown topless. Wow. Without any tops with the boobs hanging out. Wow. Oh, wow. I couldn't believe it. And so I thought, well, I'm not going to Asheville then. Wow. I'll just stay, you know, stay on my property. Have, have you seen enough to make any kind of guesstimate of what you think the death toll might possibly be? I think it's probably in the thousands. You think so? Yeah. I think they lied about that, too. Oh, yeah. Um, they said the death toll is 95. I do not believe that. Um, I was told that there are several children that died. Uh, babies died. One of the babies died just the other day because they didn't put on the woman's electric, and her baby died. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Because you have to see, they they tried to pull this on me, you know, not not because you know it started getting cold here, and so I reported them. And I put my power on the next day. I, I don't play games. Hey, um, Ann, can I ask can I ask Ann a question real quick? Ann. Hey, Ann. Uh, we talked about this. I think the last week or the week before you weren't here. This is when your power was still out. But uh, I was thinking that. Like you said, it wasn't that much rain. I think they just blamed it on that hurricane and just the levees and dams. I think that they pulled them, you know, and flooded. They flooded it. Yeah. Yeah, I think they did too. <clears throat> well, and you said that uh, roads were just totally destroyed. That that's very unlikely to be caused by rain or that's a flood, maybe, yeah. maybe by the flood. You know, like you said, that you think that maybe they uh, did uh, use the energy weapons. Yeah, I, I think you can tell it's energy weapons. I mean, if, if anybody doesn't see that, just like with the chemtrails. I mean, you can look up in the sky, you know, and there's chemtrails. It's the same thing. If you look at the, the land around you, you know what it is. And, and I'm in a, I'm, I'm in a no, no flood zone. Are, no there any, are there any dams at a higher elevation than where you are? Uh, there's a main dam in uh, uh, Lake Lore. And I think we have one in Asheville. Lake do you know anybody, Ann? Do you know anybody that had flood insurance there? No, I, I don't think hardly anybody did. They said 40% um, of people did, but I don't believe that. I don't so believe that. No, everything no. they say is a lie. Yeah. Because forty percent of people coming here is not going to get flooded to chunks. Right. You're in the mountains. Not in the mountains. No. Mm -mm. That's like getting hurricane insurance when you're five hundred miles away from it. You know what I mean? Right. From the coast. Right. So right. that's where you have to kind of sift through the lies and the truth. And I guarantee you, there's very little truth. If they if they told the truth, they would say, Chill and surrounding areas, including Virginia, was attacked. And we are going to do our investigation. We're going to find out what planes were there. They know what planes were overhead at that time. Well, See? And, and let me let me just say this real quick. Um, so then right after two weeks later, they had this hurricane Milton, uh, and they blew it up and they just made it bigger than they can make it big and everybody get out. And I think that was a distraction from right. Helene, uh, Helene. Yeah. Yeah. Hurricane. I agree. Yep, totally. they did that totally. purposely, yeah. For everybody to forget and not even look back at to where you're at. And yeah. I agree. Great distraction. Diversion. Absolutely. Absolutely. That was a distraction. That's the first thing I thought of. And then nothing happened. Nothing. nothing it happened. was so it was so crazy 
because you know we i was looking at you know the news channels and stuff when it hit landfall and they had they they were reporting 25 mile an hour winds i'm like i used to be working <laughs> out in 35 mile an hour winds and, and and they're sitting here going and then uh i finally went to bed and i got up in the morning to check you know to see what you know what i could see and there was no new news channels reporting anything because there was nothing to report no 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 there never is we used to have hurricane parties they were so <laughs> much fun they were, they were i'll never forget them we would dress up like the 50s and the 60s and you know the <laughs> and all that and then we'd come on our, I, I was a motorcycle rider so I, we'd bring our bikes over there oh we had a blast during the hurricanes hey ann uh, i got a question for you uh did you hear about the $750 loan? Is that true? That is not true. Um, well, one woman got $300 for something for that. What it is, um, this is the way they explained it. They do give out 750 to some people. It's a certain uh, type of people they give it to. Well, they have to pay that back. Yeah. But if, if they don't pay it back, they take your property that's so, what i heard yeah that's what i had heard so so, so let me let me uh, i i said this on the last slide so let me give you a little lowdown um in houston we had hurricane burl that came through and they it, it had a little destruction i mean not enough you know trees came down blah 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 you know um, I did hear a guy, you know, a, a tree fell on his house, you know, that I, I he's a customer of mine, um, that kind of stuff, but nothing. Uh, yeah, we were out of power for like five days. Um, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, we kind of went through a little bit of the, you know, aftermath, but so I live, I live in, I live in, a, so anybody ever knows I live in a travel trailer in a small, uh, uh, lot that has 10 trailers okay and we're all travel travel trailers very small <laughs> and um my next door neighbor which is you know we we i don't know if we can get along very well but you know we have our differences but anyway um came up a couple a few weeks ago and said hey i uh i claimed from fema Seven hundred and fifty dollars for damage, and they they sent me a check, and I that's how I got my rent paid. And I was like, "What?" And uh, he goes, "Yeah, the the next door neighbor next to him did the same thing, and he uh, the the neighbor said he had an inspector come out and and wanted to inspect his property, and he says, "No, I just want the seven hundred and fifty dollar claim." And the inspector left and walked away, and I was like, "You know what?" They could have just given up their property. I wasn't going to claim. I don't want nothing from FEMA. I'm I'm right there with you, Ann. I don't care. I don't I I don't want uh I don't want a, a bottle of water from them. I will get it myself. Um, no. but you know people uh, people want things for free. He didn't yeah. have damage. Nobody had damage. But so the inspector was like, okay, and he walks away. I bet you. I bet you that that was in the claim. They're the actually, disclaimer. They're they actually the talking small paper. business yeah. administration loans. Hey, uh, Ann and Michelle, I got a really good uh, suggestion. Uh, if Ann doesn't mind, if anybody in the chat has a question while we have her, you know, you guys, if you want to ask a question, and if you don't mind, I mean, you know, I'm no, sure they might have a question that we don't, we haven't thought of yet. Yeah, I already. Yeah, I, I want to. I want to warn as many people as possible because this is people's lives. You know, we lost a lot of lives here. Yeah, and that's yeah. that's very sad. Very sad. We we knew when we hadn't heard from you. I mean, Chuck was like, uh, you know, Ann is from Asheville area and he said we have not seen i haven't seen anything from her and i was like oh my gosh you know we reached out a couple times and didn't hear nothing back for a while right, right. Yeah. and I, I even went back uh it back to videos where i could see where you had commented to try to get a hold of you um it took you a few days after that but 
you know, yeah, if anybody thinks uh, Red Cross and FEMA and, and you know, any of these people are going to help you, no. I mean, how can, how how evil is it to tell people, oh, here, here's 700, $750 won't get you a week in anything. Yeah, and they'll, and they'll take your property for and then And then if you don't pay it back and it's all in the small little letters, they, yeah. it, 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 you're, then your whole life is gone. Yeah, and the thing of it is, is people do not, do not want to, their name listed on anything if they can help it. I know with Social Security, people have to be on that and things like that. But other than that, stay away from all that stuff. Right. You know? Um, and I mean, like I told people years ago, this is what I told people. I said, get you a little trailer. Now, this is way before all this stuff. This was like 15 years ago. I said, get yourself a little trailer on a piece of land. And who cares if someone calls you trailer trash? Who cares? You know? I said, get yourself a little trailer, put it on a piece of land, get it paid for, and then whatever happens, you've got stability there. Yes. You know? Hey, uh, Cormac, Cormac asked about the water, Ann. Is the water contaminated? Or do y'all have still fresh water? Uh, my water, I think, has... Uh, uh, what it was is I was rinsing out some clothes and I hung them out on the fence and I noticed it was sulfur. Oh, shit. So, sulfur, sulfur, you might not have been on the chat uh, when I was talking about that. Sulfur is part of geoengineering. Uh, they put that in the stratosphere, the sulfur for the geoengineering. And yeah. I know I had sulfur. Wow. It was all over the clothes. You could smell it. It was horrible. Um, I can't drink the well water now. And until that, I don't know how to get that sulfur out. Well, and, they, and they've also said that there's bodies. You know, I mean, people are floating down the rivers and, you mm -hmm. know, I mean, if you think about that, that's contamination in itself. For sure. For sure. Contamination. Oh, another thing, too, the helicopters. I didn't tell you about that. The helicopters for two weeks, well, over two weeks. Today was the only break we had. There was helicopters constantly over my house. I mean, constant. And if they were, so, I live in a concrete house. And they were so close to my house that everything was shaken. What kind of helicopters? What, what do they look like? Um, they look like military. Okay, like, were they black? I couldn't tell if they were, they might, you know, I think they were military. Right. And I, I just went outside and I told them, I said, I'm not afraid of you. You can do what you want. Uh, you know, they've done that to me before. You know, they would get so close to the house. So I just wait outside if they hit the house. Well, wow. Hmm. That's I don't know why they do that, but they've been doing it, you know, nonstop. I well, usually you know, flex at the helicopters when they drive by. Got my number. I don't care. <laughs> Say that again, Brian. I said I flex at the helicopters when they fly by. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want none. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, oh, yeah, I've been, I was an activist in 2008. Oh, they tried to run me off the road. They tried to, all kind of stuff. All kind of stuff. And then I went to the Franklin Police Station, listen to this one. And I said, I have a whole stack of information on what I'm working on, and I want to leave it with y'all so read it. Well, one of the deputies, he called me that night, and he said, if you go to the um, sheriff's office, they have a pair of penny cuffs with your name on <laughs> with my name on them. Wow. <laughs> I come out, you know, so I thought, well, I better stay there. And I just wanted to tell you how thankful I am for you to be on here. Um, we were we were really worried about you and we knew that you would be able to tell your story. 
And I, I think everybody in this chat is very thankful for you um, because we already know that you're awake. And uh, it's just, you know, I, I think it's a blessing. Um, it it's a it's a big blessing to have you on here because I have no doubt anything that you say. I don't have any doubt whatsoever uh, in your truth. And I just, I just want to let you know how much I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Well, as far as the media, when I would listen on the radio, I would get so frustrated, I just turn it off because they didn't tell the truth the way everything happened. They didn't tell it. I mean, it was almost like they have HDHD because mm -hmm. they would go from here to there to there, but never really explaining to anybody what had happened. Right. They never yeah, and did. as far as Verizon, Verizon, I mean, the towers, as far as I know, didn't even get hit. They took our communication so that we couldn't help anybody. And this is what angers me because we had a right to, to help people. In fact, um, that one girl, she stopped that guy from rescuing somebody and i put in a comment i said if someone needs rescued you rescue them you don't care what anybody says right well we you, you rescue that person so uh we we on our uh, on the last live last week uh i don't know if you know this but we covered uh um north carolina Asheville, and uh because you know <sighs> The way I, I'm thinking, you know, you know, if you're a flat earther or if you're a, uh, you want to prove this or you want to prove that and you're a part of the a small truth or community, to me, there, there was nothing more important than what was happening in your neck of the woods. And, um, you know, who gives a shit about, excuse my French, who gives a shit about uh, flat earth or, you know, you still have those channels that are, you know, that's all they're covering. And, you know, I was like, no, this is, this is real shit that we need to be covering. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I remember, oh man, I lost my train of thought. Oh, oh goodness. Um, you know, I just, you know, we already know that the news is fake. We already know, uh, they're never going to, you know, they have to cover it because something happened. But, you know, are they still covering anything on it? I probably not, um, mm. if, if, if very little. And the devastation is just extremely huge, mm. you know. I, I see them trying to cover uh, Florida right now for, for Hurricane Milton for nothing. And you can tell the fakeness. You can see the videos that they're ju just pushing the narrative and all the flooding and Oh, the, uh, the tornadoes and, and, you know, and I could tell just by the next day, I could tell it was a nothing burger and it was all a distraction to get everybody looking the right. Yeah. Way. Looking away. When's the last time you ate at a water burger? Yeah. And another thing too, I want to forget. <laughs> we were told all of these people from other states were coming to help us. They said all of these people, even from Canada, and they were going to get our power on. They were going to bring food and water and blah, blah, blah. No one. Really? Not even one person. I, I, I've seen a lot of videos of people uh, transferring goods and, and all kinds of stuff. So That's a lie. Wow. That was all a lie. That's where the lies come in. Wow. Okay. Hey, and one more thing. One more thing about that is you cannot go in North Carolina. You can't go to the gas station and buy a pack of gum without them saying, do you want to round up for the Hurricane Helena North Carolina fund? They're doing that everywhere. And I guarantee you, you guys aren't getting any of that money. No. I see that everywhere regardless and it has nothing everywhere. to do with, with that. But everywhere I go, they got that everywhere all the time. I just say no, 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 Always. no, no. I'm no the again. same way because it's it's all a money scheme, and uh, not that I don't want to help. Um, this is kind of the only way I can help, and that we can help, 
is to try to get the truth out. Get the truth out, yeah. Yeah, and and try to expose what needs to be exposed. Like I said, you know. Yeah, that was all lies. All these people were coming to Canada, and all of these. Oh my gosh, what lies! In fact, the media did not. They they did not tell the truth about anything other than we had a hurricane, which that was fake too. If they told the truth, they would have said North Carolina and surrounding areas were attacked. We don't know what it was. They, you know, they would have had to say what it was, but they would, you know, investigate to find out what it was. Where you were, when did the rain start and when did they stop? Okay, uh, they started Thursday. Thursday, it was just a little bit, you know, like sprinkly stuff. And then it started towards the evening, and it was gone by Friday afternoon. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's not that much, really. No. Uh-uh. We have, in fact, we've had more rain than that. Asheville um, has very unusual weather. We have winds sometimes that are 40 to 50 miles an hour. Oh, it's, it's awful those times. So there's no way that rain could have broke those dams and levees. There's no way. But she said that y'all y'all didn't even get that much. Yeah, we didn't get any wind here. Uh, I mean, it was like two bursts, you know, wind, because I can tell by my fan in the bathroom. Um, but there's only two times. And, and hardly any wind at all. No wind. And we always got real. In fact, we've had way worse weather than this time. Oh, wow. That, tr- that truth isn't out there. I haven't heard anybody say that right there, that they didn't get that much rain. Yeah. And, you know, and, and you know, like what I noticed uh, real quick, what I noticed real quick on the videos or people that were re- reporting on this uh, devastation um, their channels were huge. They weren't. They weren't small little channels going. Hi, this is Melissa. I just want to let you know. I want to film this and let you know that we're hurting. But whatever. They were never small channels. They had fifty thousand k sub. You know. Some of those videos got millions of views, Michelle. You know, like one or two of the videos you showed of people down there. I found those later on on YouTube, and some of them got like a million, two million views. Right. Especially the ones where the couple was like, hurry up, go as fast as you can through the flood water. You know, that one. Right. So, no, yeah, I, I think they broke the dams. I really do because those, those, we never needed one dam. According to that engineer, we never needed one dam because it's primary water. Now, Deborah Zavaris, whatever her name is, she's missing. I have not heard from her in a couple of years, but she has all kinds of documents on what they're doing, all kinds of documents. And a wonderful, wonderful woman. But I have not heard from her. I hope they didn't hear her. Um, you know. But um, she has all kind of documents, and she probably has documents on what they were going to do here, because see, Masons brag about what they do. Right. They brag about it, and they will tell you ahead of time. But you know, when when someone says a hurricane is going to hit Western North Carolina, people probably thought, "Oh my gosh," and it wasn't even true anyway. No. So after after Friday, you didn't have rain. No, in fact, we haven't had any rain since. Not one drop. I uh, I immediately heard that uh, Asheville got sixteen inches of rain. No. Hmm. I think they they said twelve or fourteen, and it, some places only got ten. Some places got less than that. Okay, so so to me that's a numbers game. See, mm-hmm. you know, you know how they always play the numbers game. They've got to tell you mm-hmm. only two hundred people are missing. Only, uh, you know, you only got fourteen. Who knows what the heck 
they're lying about. You know, obviously they're lying about the 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 people that are not here no more, um, that are missing. You say it, it's in the thousands. You know, to me yeah, they could. There's... You, they, you probably could have got five five inches of rain, and 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 then them just saying it's fourteen inches. You know? Yeah. Yeah, and, we, and like I said, that's normal for us. Right. We get those kind of rains every single year. So why would why would roads actually be broken in pieces and roads that were uplifted and in rubbles and um that one was a huge hole there's not even any dirt under there right how are they even going to repair that yeah you know we had some floods here a few times where i live i live up in the mountains myself to an extent and because of you know valleys and stuff like that and the funneling of the water it does rip up the roads like that i've seen whole blacktop roads just get lifted up because it just the water starts eating away underneath whatever the blacktop was laid on top, and then the whole road would just lift off and go down into the creek. It's crazy. It looks exactly the same of videos and pictures I've seen from stuff down there. Now, you know, I'm not down there, so I can't see the extent of all the damage. I just see what bridges and roads look like from my whatever, and I've seen that stuff happen. But uh, you know, ex you know, like what you're saying, explosions and rocks. Now we don't have huge boulders and just like stuff that looks like a bomb. It looks like a flood. You know, what I mean, not a bomb, but anyway. Yeah, too many rock was bombed. I mean, there there is no question about that at all. Because wow. the buildings were damaged from the top down. I mean, they were bombed. That place was bombed. You can't even get up there unless you have a, a donkey or a horse. Any fires? Yes, uh, there was houses that burned down. Yeah. Wow. wow. Mm. And I don't know what was in the air Friday. I mean, it was like a gray type substance where you couldn't even see anything. It wasn't like fog. It was very thick, and you could not see through it. So I don't know what that was. So, but, um, but yeah, the media, oh, it, it was sickening. Oh, and another thing, too, is now when I went on Facebook and looked at the news, now they're telling everybody that they're mentally ill. Really? really? Yeah. yeah. They're, t they're making announcements that people in Asheville and the surrounding areas now need to go to uh, psychiatrists. Wow. Oh, that made me so mad. I put down a comment that I had to end up deleting it. <laughs> <You know, laughs> they come after me then. <laughs> I think we've all been there. <laughs> when you get mad enough, you're just like, oh. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're telling everybody that they're crazy for what they experience. Well, and you know, that's part of the, that's part of the plan too, is that, you know, wanting to take our guns away and, uh, they got to prove uh, mental, mental illness and, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. So that's, that, that makes sense to me because mm -hmm. if they can sit there and tell you, you know, other people they're mentally ill, then everybody just automatically believes it. And they're like, oh Yeah. It just it's insane what's the 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 shit and the propaganda they put out. Hey uh Ann, I was I was out for a while, but did you talk about the crime? Have you talked about the crime oh, there yet? Crime. The crime is real bad. I live in a place that most people do not know how to get here. I'm like in, in tucked in a in a mountain type area and nobody the most people wouldn't even know how to get here. But I had people come here, too, on this road. And then I would just stand out there and say, come on, let all show you something. <laughs> I mean, I confronted with one car. But, yeah, they're looting um, and they're stealing things. Oh, they're, the crime is absolutely unreal. Wow. 
That's crazy. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I mean, let's think of it this way. So they create, they create the 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 devastation. Okay. Do you think that they would create the the looters? Yes, because I'll tell you what. Whenever those people came from other places to destroy Asheville, guess what? They told them to do it. They did. Yeah. That's another thing that shocked me too. They were letting them do graffiti, that graffiti stuff all right. over the sidewalks. They were um, putting rocks through people's windows. Yeah. And they said they could do it. Yeah. They destroyed Asheville. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. it, 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 makes, they could do it. it makes total sense. Uh, yeah. yeah. And where I came from, Franklin, what happened when their, the bus load came from Atlanta, they went to Franklin. Well, on one side of the road, the locals were locked and loaded. And, and whenever those people seen that in Atlanta, they took their stuff and went on the bus and left. Yeah, and like the paid protesters. Yeah, kind of like the paid protesters. Right, exactly. So, you know, I mean... I, you know these the, these elites. I mean, these uh, created. I'm not gonna cuss anyway. <laughs> I almost said it, but uh, you know these elite members that create all this devastation that are trying to do a land grab. That are you know they have their their nose in every nook and cranny to keep it going. So, you know, you know, you got the land grabbers, you have the, uh, you know, the, the, you know, you have it all going on and they're, they're putting everybody in their place. And of course the military is not going to be there for 12 days because that gives time for people to perish. You know, yeah. you know, it gives time for people to give up hope. It gets time people, it, it you know, gives it time for people to starve and, 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 you know. Yeah, a lot of people starved to death. Yeah, yeah they did. And you see that when they took our communication, that's what I'm most curious about. Because they didn't give us a chance to help anybody. Because we had no communication. Right. And we couldn't just get in our vehicles and go because all the roads were buckled up and there was, you couldn't even get, you couldn't even get paths. I mean, I mean, if you guys think about it, what a perfect storm. Yeah. I mean, well, that's what they said on the radio. They said it was a perfect storm. Yeah. That's exactly what he said. Yeah, he was telling us some bits and pieces. He knew it. He knew what they did. Because he said it was a perfect storm. Wow. Mm -hmm. I remember that very clearly. Mm -hmm. So I was telling, telling him off when I was in the car. <laughs> so how are you? So how are you now, Ann? Um, how are you? How are you feeling? I I mean, what what's your state of mind right now? And you know, give us some. Uh, you know, take on that. Well, I feel like I need to get out more and I need to carry my cross and I need to go to people and spread the, the news. I don't want to. It's not in my heart. But I think once I start doing it, um, I will be blessed inside knowing that I'm doing the right thing. I don't want to. I don't want to tell anybody about the Bible. You know, I really don't. I don't care about. It. I mean, what I've seen in the way people are, I don't want nothing to do with them. But in my mind, I know what I have to do. I have to carry my Bible. One guy carries a cross uh, along, but I need to take my Bible and I need to. Uh, Tell people about me to the Lord Jesus Christ. And if they shoot me, they shoot me. Because I think I'm brave enough now than I was before because I have nothing to lose. I do have a daughter that lives 
close by, but she's got her life. You know, she works at the hospital and, you know, she does good. And, um, but I'm here by myself with my dog and cat, but I need to get out there and tell people about the Lord. Yeah. Whether I want to or not. Um, time is short. You know, time is short. Yeah, the time is too short. And if I could maybe reach one person, maybe it'll be worth it. I don't know. Yeah. But we're in a time right now that it's it's too it's almost too late. Yeah. You know, it really is. Uh, I hate to say that, but I do believe in a hell. You know, I didn't used to believe in hell, but I do now. And, and because I believe in hell, and I know it's real, I have to give up. And I have to carry my Bible, and I have to tell people about the Lord Jesus Christ. You know? And that's the way I have to live my life. Hey, hey Chuck, uh, explain, explain to Anne what you told Dub and I about the restrainer and and I mean just explain to her why you think she was saved. Oh, I was just telling them how uh and I know you know about uh Sodom and Gomorrah when Abraham was talking to God and he said, Surely you won't destroy this place if there's one righteous person here and God said he wouldn't. And then he, he mentioned thirty people and there wasn't 30. And then he went down to 20. There wasn't 20. All the way down to like one. And then God led Abraham, not Abraham, Lot and his family out. And then fire rained down on Sodom and Gomorrah. I think that uh, that they're not going to be able to destroy an entire place if there are righteous people there. But you said yourself that Asheville was wicked with the witches and the LGBT I think when places get so dark and wicked where there's no righteous people that live there, I think that's when they're allowed to be destroyed. Right. And I think that's why the Lord uh, Jesus Christ let it happen and he didn't try to stop it because the wickedness here is unbelievable. That's what I've heard. Yeah. You said that many times and I know other people that live up there and I mean, they have witch parades. And uh, tell tell them about some of those uh, like witches where they bang those pots and pans and all kinds of crazy stuff like that. Yeah, they um, you know they dance. The one time I you know went to Asheville towards the evening when I first moved here, they were dancing around and you know once you've been there, witches you know. Yeah. You're proud to be witches, you know. They're no sinner. Wicca, called Wicca. Wicca, uh, that's yeah. it. Wicca's real big. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah uh, Asheville was actually Sodom and Gomorrah. And yeah. then the people that aren't witches or, you know, they're not into that stuff, they don't care. So that's just bad. Uh, you know, they, they don't care, you know, if uh, people destroy their place or. I don't know. It's just a weird, you know, when I lived in Franklin, I was kind of protected all the time, you know, like to a certain degree because people didn't act like that. But this is a place, it's like Nineveh. Well, you know, like I say to myself, I don't want to be swallowed up by the fish. Right. You know, Jonah was supposed to go to Nineveh. And he didn't want to go, so he got swallowed by the fish. So if I don't want to tell people about the Bible, I don't want to be swallowed by the fish. Right. Um, uh, real quick, you're get you're getting a little gargly. Yeah, I know. Um, they try to mess this phone up too. Yeah. 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 Because they don't, especially when I start talking about the Lord Jesus Christ, I have a lot of. Interruptions. Yep. Every yeah. time. Yeah. And it always happens, you know, 
my comments on here and there. That was crazy. I thought they were sick I was chasing down my comments. <laughs> I was in the right place. Come on, Dan. I'm gonna just tell you guys. I'm gonna just tell you guys something real quick. My screen just my screen just went completely black and just came right back up. But that was like a trip. Just just yeah. saying. Oh, yeah. yeah, stuff like this always happens to me. Yeah, just like when I tried to get on your live. You know, they didn't recognize the new phone number. So I put it in. I did everything where I was supposed to do. The next time we recognize it. And they still wouldn't let me on. And then my computer was going real slow, like a turtle gun in there. I mean, just as slow as can be. <laughs> Wow. I lost I lost my cell service and I usually have it through here and that's one thing with the hurricane I was driving in about two hours stretch all the cell towers went down and they were having blackouts everywhere at and t and Verizon and you know I was trying to get on your you know, inventions. They can't invent towers that can't be, you know. Well, they have satellites in space. These satellites in space wow. aren't working good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. The stream is reporting uh, that uh, we're echoing uh, really bad. Huh. Of course. Maybe if I hold the phone, yeah, it's um, picking up feedback. Yeah, the phone it's to the feedbacking. mic, but it worked real well for a long time. Yeah, it's in and out. Yeah, but anyway, you know, that's where the line line is right now. Yeah, it's just to get out there and talk to people and stuff because you know, I can't. Really hey Anne, would would you mind uh trying to call me right back? Okay. Bye. Yeah, the connection was leaving. Let's see if we can get a better connection. Um, yeah. it's getting really garbly. Um, man, you guys are amazing in the chat. I love you guys. I just really appreciate you guys being here. Yeah uh with the support i i'm really sad that kip's not here but uh you know he said that he might have to go out so he did um and i'm sure he'll 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 go back and listen to this live um he said he might be back yeah by the way i was kidding about the satellites in space and monica mentioned that they're they're powered by uh cables that run through the ocean yeah i've seen that they have cables all through the ocean from uh, connecting all the different continents and stuff. It's yeah. pretty crazy. So real quick, Marcy asked whose channel got taken down. So my main channel, uh, this channel got taken down from last week's live doing, uh, uh, doing, doing about the hurricane that hit North Carolina. Reporting the news. Yeah. She was fair yeah. use reporting news. Yep. So I had someone that claimed a copyright strike that I showed one of their videos. Um, we don't know exactly which video it was. Some people are saying it was Chuck's doing the, uh, you know, sound of silence. I don't know. Um, it doesn't matter. But they took my whole channel down. Um, I just, I they gave me the option to email the person uh and I just told him I, I had no intentions of trying to fight the copyright strike. But uh, I just told him, I said, you're I'm a small channel next to your big channel. Uh, just trying to get out the word uh, on this hurricane that affected North Carolina. And uh, we're all supposed to work together. And that's not the way it's happening. Anyway, here she is again. Let's see if we can get her. Oh shit! <laughs> Whoopsie. Let me let me do that. Hold on a second. Let me call her back. But 
so it was my channel that was taken down briefly for like a day and a half, two days. I don't know. Yeah, and you guys are welcome to share your channels. Uh, I know just uh, Ron, just the voice shared his. He got taken down. He got another ch channel taken down. Now he's on number seven. Oh, my goodness. Hana. Hello? What? I'm not calling nobody. What? Did you call the wrong number? <laughs> <laughs> it said spam risk. <laughs> Let's see. Huh. Wow. Let's see. Yeah, Nuthouse, YouTube is in the dumpsters now, man. YouTube is getting bad. I got, I don't know if you guys saw, but I did a video. I got a warning threatening to take my channel down because of a comment that I made on my channel. I mean, I was commenting to one of my subscribers on my own Hello. channel, and they gave me a warning. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, good. You sound so much better right now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's good. Sorry, Chuck. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but. No, you're fine. You're fine. She's. Yeah. Yeah, she's so, back, guys. So, yep. Better connection. Yeah, I tried to call you and the recording kept coming on. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was trying to call you back and it, I called somebody else. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but uh yeah, so uh I spy with my eyes better face. How dare you? What? What? Huh? Oh, another another thing too about uh, you know the the rain and all that stuff. Where I live, it's like it's downhill everywhere. In other words, I live on very like if you go out of my road, you're on very curvy roads, and they are, they always go down, pull up, down, you know, like a roller coaster. So it's not like the the rain is going to settle on the the road in one place, right? You know, like there wouldn't be inches of rain just because it would be going downhill. You know, right? So. Well, I mean, it does make sense that they could have steered the hurricane, you know, to give y'all, you know, five, ten inches of rain and then pull the dams and levees and flood Asheville and then blame it on the hurricane. Nobody would know any better, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, I think that they used directed energy uh, because you couldn't hear anything because the rain was loud. Yeah. So you couldn't really hear. If there was planes above, you couldn't hear them. Um, people that work for, you know, the air, the airplanes and stuff, they need to look at that and see if there was any planes in the area at that time. Or they could have done it through drones, too. Yeah. You know, those, those drones, uh, they're wicked. People around here, they'll shoot them down. Yeah, one guy yeah. shot one. <laughs> but yeah. it could be drones too carrying those things, you know, destroying things. Very big possibility. Mm -hmm. If anybody can have, there would be no proof. Again, if yeah. anybody in the chat has a question for Anne, since she's in Asheville, uh, North Carolina, she's uh, directly right there in the in the middle of the devastation. If ground anybody, zero. Uh, yeah, ground zero, and she's she's a trooper, <laughs> like we all are. Um, she's very much awake. But if anybody has any questions for her, just drop them in uh, in the chat, and I will let her know because she can't see the chat. I can see the chat, but I can't comment because um, I don't have my iPad. I just am using my phone. Right. Are you mm -hmm. still driving, Chuck? 
I'm shut down. I'm parked. Okay, good. No. Yeah. Very good. You yeah, I lost signal a minute ago, and I had to walk up to the front of the truck and put my phone up high on the dashboard to get an extra bar. So there's that. What was your question, Ann, to Chuck? Uh, I wanted to find out if he liked his new job. Ugh. Oh, man. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a job. That's about it. I'm sick of working, period, but you know how it is. Yeah, what about your mom? Is she doing better? She is. She's starting to uh, stand up, and she walked all the way to the door the other day for the first time. But uh, it's just slow. She's 83 years old, and she broke her hip. And, you know, she said it was about 10 times worse than when she broke her back. It was wow. a lot more painful. Yeah. So, But thank, thank you for asking. Yeah, the whole time I was praying. I mean, I always pray for y'all every night. Well, I appreciate that. Everybody, yeah. everybody on the chat, everybody, Doug, Chuck, everybody. These are my prayers. Yeah. We well, definitely prayed for you during the, all this mess. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah we did. Yes, we will continue to pray for you because I'm telling you, this is so crazy. I'm so <laughs> thankful to have you on here. Now, how's Angie doing? She's doing pretty good. Right, Chuck? Yeah. She's getting better every day. She's talking better every day. Yeah. She's up to her, her, her <laughs> how would you say it? Uh, yeah, she, she doesn't hold anything back anymore. She's, she's back to her old Ange. And, uh, yeah, she's doing wonderful. She's, yeah. She's getting there. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Does she know what caused that? Because she looks too young to be having a stroke. Well, didn't her mom have a major stroke? And, and uh, that's what I mean, it, it can happen. I mean, they say high blood pressure, but who knows? I mean, it could be frequencies nowadays. They could be targeting. Uh, I mean, who, who knows? I mean, it could be a number of things, I guess. Yeah, they're targeting like a TI. They call them targeted individuals. Now, I've been a TI for many years. But a lot of them is a lot of hype type too. Um, oh, there, there's yeah, they go ahead. They mainly uh, I can't see the that part of it. Like like with the TIs, there there again, I think it's some truth and some lies. You see what I mean? Right. Because I've been a TI since uh, a little kid. Uh -huh. um, they will try to run you off the road because I have them with me. In fact, one guy tried to run me off the road, and then I pulled off. I made a right hand turn, and he started spinning in the road, <laughs> round and round and round. And then one girl, she was targeting me, and she went in a ditch. Well, I had a. Uh, a truck, you know, my 150 truck, and I had a V8 engine, and she thought she could really do something. It was so funny. <clears throat> but I went back and I said, "Are you okay?" And she said, oh, "I'm fine." So, Anne, there's a question in the chat that says, "I have a question. If she has any suggestions on where to send money to aid in her area, where to get there." Where yeah. it needs to go. Well, yeah. every, everybody's ripoffs. Right. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Money, they're not going to get it. Right. Uh, the, the only thing, like somebody was asking me that last night, she said, do you need anything? And I said, no. I said, my daughter, you know, helped me, so I don't need anything. The, the people that need it is in Chimney Rock, but you can't get to them. So the only people that can actually help is people that have, you know, the helicopters. And they could get in there and uh, do it themselves because every, everybody is out for the buck. Everybody. everybody. When I everybody. first moved here, when I first moved in this house, 
the, uh, the basement, of course, the dog, you know, he had a bunch of mason jars down there. But I had to have it cleaned out. And the guy, I said, uh, how much would it be? He gave me an estimate of $10,000. And I said, $10,000? I said, where's the camera? <laughs> and it's a joke. <laughs> right. <laughs> got real mad. But that's the way it is here. Everybody's out for the buck. Right. If you send money, they're not going to get it. Right. Um, I was going to say something earlier as we were talking about the propaganda uh, going on. I don't know if you've seen and the Holocaust the helicopter video of the guy and his son went out. Uh, we're getting some feedback. Uh, that I that we had on last lives week, or last lives week, last week's live. Um, that uh, they went to help a bunch of people. They picked up. Uh, there was an elderly couple. They picked up an el uh, the 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 woman. And he saw a rescue, uh, emergency uh, rescue uh, place, and he dropped her off there. And they told him that th it was a no-fly zone, that he was not allowed to go back and get the other person, which he dropped off his son with the the other gentleman. And uh, he was like, "Well, I got to go get my co-pilot," which it was his son. And they were like, well, you can't go back there. And he was like, well, I got to go get my co-pilot. He went back there, got his son, picked him up, and left the guy there. <laughs> well, I, I can't believe that story. I can see that, too. Because I'll tell you why. I seen a guy when I was at the fire station get water, and he wanted to help, and they ignored him. They were turning people away that people needed help. Oh, yeah. They were turning them away, and I seen it with my own eyes. That guy was a young guy. He was willing to work, and he was ready, and they ignored him. Yeah, I, I just, uh, you know, I kind of find it funny because, like, if I'm going to go, if I have a helicopter and, 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 and the cops tell me, or the firemen or whatever tell me that I can't do it, they can kiss my you know what. That's I'm right. I feel the same way, but people are cowards now. Right. Yeah. You know, they're they're not like us. They you know they you know you know, like my comment was if somebody needs rescue, you can go rescue them, you know, regardless. It doesn't right. matter what uh, you're not saying. gonna care about the cops or anything. No, I don't care about cops. I don't care about the government. I, yeah. You know, yeah. I don't care. You know, you just do what you have to do. But people don't think that way now. No. So I kind of believe that story. I could be wrong, you know, um, but because I've seen it happen with my own eyes. And, uh, and they said that that was a real problem that people did come to help, but they turned them away. And I seen it with my own eyes. They treated that guy like dirt. Wow. And he was there to help. Uh, yeah, and it, <clears throat> real quick, I just wanted to say this. I'm just responding to the chat real quick. And I don't mean to interrupt you, Ann. Um, if you guys want to sub to people's channels, uh, just click on their uh, avatar. And it'll take you straight to their channel. And you can sub to them. Uh, just, oh, okay. just in case. Anybody yeah, okay. wants to know because uh the nut house was saying, Can you guys put your links in here? Um, so just click on their avatar, you should be able to sub to whoever is in here like mm -hmm. right away. Mm -hmm. Sorry, go ahead, yeah. continue on in. But you know, one thing about it though, no matter what Satan and his demons try or whatever they do, they never get anywhere. I mean, I've been at this for a very long time, you know. In other words, if you're ready to go, God will take you. And if not, you're not ready to go, then he protects you with everything. Right. I agree. I mean, he's protected me through things you all would never. I mean, it was amazing how I've been um, pulled out of situations. You know, because what I, you know, I'm a loudmouth. You know, I, 
and and I and I want to help people, and I want to, you know, <laughs> sometimes I go too far, and sometimes I get myself in some real bad situations, you know, right, dangerous situations, right. Mm -hmm. And but he's always there. I mean, he's, you know, in other words, God is in complete control. He allowed Nashville to get destroyed. Oh well, I mean that's his decision. You know, um, I hate to see it for the innocent people, but I haven't seen any innocent yet. <laughs> you know, I'm sure I will. But, you know, when I go out and I start telling people about the Bible, you know, there there could be one person out there that's that wants to know about Jesus Christ. You know, that's just waiting. You know, right. But uh, uh, for a reason. Yeah. Can I say one thing real quick? Uh, using your phone, uh, trying to comment. It says join the chat. You have to. You have to link YouTube to Streamyard. And uh, I don't have but one bar out here. And every time I try to do it, it uh, it says error, and it won't let me. So I can't comment, but I can read the chat. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, they don't control people with these cell phones. They do. They really do. Yeah, because they, if they only let you have one bar, you know, it's just going to work out. You know, I've I, heard that, but I haven't seen that much. Yeah, you know, the landlines were better because usually if something happened, you always still could communicate. Right. Right. Well, that's why they got rid of them. Yeah. They, got rid of they sure did. And still people, some people still have landlines, but not very many. No. No, and if you know somewhere, you, can, you can't get one. But they even got Irwin, uh, Tennessee. All the places that they got were tourist areas. Yeah, that they could get, you know, money from. Uh, Irwin... We see it got Marshall, Irwin, all those places that were tourist areas. Greenville, uh, South Carolina is a beautiful town. I mean, it's a city, but it's really, really a nice city. Way nicer than Asheville. And they got yeah. that too. Mm -hmm. So every, every, just about every town they got is a tourist town. Huh. Hey, can I, let me mention something real quick. Now that we got Ann on here, I was talking to Michelle about this earlier, and I think this would be a good idea because we don't know how long YouTube is going to be up. And, you know, like with what happened with Asheville, you know, we didn't hear from Ann for a while. But uh, I was thinking maybe not tonight, but we need to, when we get a pretty big chat, we need to let people try to connect you know, and give out their emails. And if anybody wants to give out their phone number, just so, you know, the community, we all know each other pretty good, but, you know, I don't know how much longer we're going to be able to communicate to one another. You know what I mean? It could it could go out tomorrow. But uh, just if anybody wants to connect, you know, like to kind of give their email address and, you know, so we could kind of save each other's emails or something, then that way, when the shit hits the fan, excuse my language, you know, we it could at least get, you know, contact some people. Right. Yeah, I don't mind giving out my phone number at all. Me neither. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't care either. I don't mind it at all because I just have my dog and cat and I'm there by myself. It would be nice to get a phone call. <laughs> you know, and it's really weird because I feel closer to the people online than I, I feel closer to most people outside of here um of course i got my best friend sitting next to me but i'm telling you if i didn't have him i'd be lost and i'm it, i'm just saying i think it's, you know it's such a it's such a good because like chuck was telling me about this the other day and he said would you know, would you know my phone number if something happened i said no he goes yep. I, he goes i wouldn't know yours either and i said I said, you know, I said, that's a really good idea that we should all try to reach out and uh, put our phone numbers because we were caught, actually, Ann, we were pretty frantic about you and yeah. uh, we were really concerned 
and really wanted to communicate with you, even though we might have not been able to communicate right away. We could have kept trying, you know, until we got a hold of you. Um, so I think I think it's a very good idea, and everybody should maybe think about that. And uh, you know, mm -hmm. and I'll put my phone number in the chat next time. Okay. Because they're gonna they're gonna pull the internet eventually. I don't know how long, but you know, and definitely YouTube. YouTube's hanging on by a thread. They took Michelle's channel down, you know, last week. Who's to say they couldn't take our backup channels too? You know, they know who we are. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, they definitely know who we are. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> they know who we are. They know who yeah. all of us are. <laughs> oh. Uh -huh. Everybody yeah, in the chat, that, yeah. and we have tried to kill us. <laughs> yeah, they know, they know who we are. Yeah, they know. No. Oh, they know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so as, as far as the media telling the truth, no. Um, they didn't tell the real devastation. Uh, it was way, way worse than what they were saying. All you know, the neighbors, uh, helping neighbors, and all that stuff. I didn't see that. Um, they were turning away people that wanted to help, and they were very lazy, very, very lazy. And then the guy on the uh radio he goes, Well, they they only have to work nine to five and they have to go home to their families. Oh, wow. I remember a time if there was an emergency, you had to work, you know, at night. <laughs> well, they would get people to work at night just to get people's electric back on. And that's what killed a lot of people, I think. Uh, with the older people, I think the fear of yeah. uh, not knowing what happened to their families, that killed them. And then also, uh, not, you know, just not knowing, not having food, not having water. Um, older people, you they have to be hydrated. You know, they have to have plenty of, of uh, liquids. Yeah, definitely. Right? Yeah. And, uh, and if you don't have water, and a lot of people don't store water, you know, a lot of people around here, they don't no. They have wells. Hi, yeah. Western. Hi, Western. I wanted to say hello to you and let you know that uh, if you guys came in uh, late, you guys are going to have to turn around and watch the whole live stream because it's very important. But anyway, I, I'm glad you're here, Western. Yeah, hi, Western. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're all going to have to go through something. You know, whether, you know, I had to go through the disaster, but uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, you know, he, he, he spared me. He spared my daughter. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, but we're all going to go through something. And, and I thought I was a strong person. I really did, you know, because I've always been like that. Uh, very, very strong. But, uh. You know, something like this can break you. Yeah. It can. I'm sure. Yeah. You I've know, been. I couldn't bring water to somebody or bring them food or something like that. I mean, I, I was completely helpless. I don't like that feeling. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. You know, I'm a worker. I like to work. I like to get out there and do my part. Right. You know, I've been broken many times on, on different uh, certain things that I won't ever go into right now because this is not about me. It's about you. But I'm, I'm just telling you, I've been broken before. And I'm telling you, that is the most horrible, most uh, horrible feeling to feel that when you're you're helpless or you can't you can't go anywhere with it. But when you got God, you know. That's the biggest difference for me is that I'm like, you know, bring it on. Cause you know what? Uh, you know, yeah, I don't want no, nobody to ever have to go through what you went through. Um, but I'm telling you, 
you know, let's let's get this party started and let's let's get let's get it let's get it on. <laughs> I'm just like Yeah. You know? Yeah, because we're we're in a war. We're in a war on the earth, but we're we're in that spiritual war. You know, and yeah. these demons are looking at us and saying, We want to kill them. <laughs> Right. They want it. Yeah. No, no, you can test them, but you can't kill them. Yeah. And um, and, and it's hard, and especially this is what got me uh, to this whole thing. Okay, so I couldn't do anything. I couldn't help anybody, and when I and I couldn't sleep, you know, because you can't sleep when all this stuff is going on. Right. And then I started thinking about all these things, and you begin you begin to say, you know, <laughs> you know, I was starting to hate my thoughts, you know what I mean? Because then I'd say, well, if I do this, if I do that, and then I would say, well, how can I get water the next day? And, and, and oh my gosh, it was awful. Your own thoughts are, are horrible. Because, you know, you keep thinking, well, where am I going to get water? You know, uh, maybe I should go to this place. Maybe I should go to that place. Oh my gosh. And then I try to read the Bible and your thoughts are so jambled. It's hard, you know, like you read the Bible, but it doesn't sink in. You know, yeah, of course, you know, I read the Bible. I've read it, you know, like I would go to the same thing, you know, that I read before. But mm -hmm. it was like it was hard to read the Bible. You see what I mean? Right. Because the concentration, it was hard to concentrate. Right. You know, especially with water. You have to have water. And then I would say, well, if I go to this place and get the water, what time should I go? And oh, my gosh. And then you start thinking, oh, my gosh. Because when you're busy during the day, you don't have to deal with that, you know? Um, oh, I don't know. I don't know if anybody ever experienced that before, but it's hard. It, it's hard to, and then you're thinking, well, I love the Lord. I love Jesus Christ. Why don't I feel closer to him than I do? You know, when you're in a uh, bad situation, you think, oh, in your mind, you when you love the Lord, in your mind, I'll be close to the Lord Jesus Christ and everything will be okay. But it's not like that. It's, a lot, you know, yeah. It, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because I do. Totally. Feel, yeah, totally. I feel yeah. like you're in his arms and he's got his arms wrapped around you, but it's not like that. Mm -hmm. So, how do, you, how do you feel now that everything's kind of calmed down? Do you feel that he's got his arms around you? I think he was always with me. Yeah. But I think at the same time it was a test. Kind of like a still small voice. That's how I've always heard it described. Kind of like a still small voice. Yeah, I mean, I know that he was watching me from a distance. Yeah. I, I think, I don't think it was real close. No, um, I think that I expected too much. I, I think I was being tested for something more later. Mm -hmm. let, let, me, let me ask you this real quick. So do you think the enemy at that time was stronger um, to, to push you a little bit? You know what I mean? Like, you know, because the enemy... When when he attacks, it's 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 very strong, and of course, you know your belief and your faith and your you know is got to be stronger. But I'm just saying, uh, during you know a devastation like that, you know you had you you were working against the enemy, obviously. Mm -hmm. I'm just. I didn't. I didn't really feel that either. I, I didn't feel. <laughs> <laughs> because he attacks me all the time. In fact, I felt like the attacks weren't even as strong uh, during this time. 
because it was almost like he, you know, he's already caused the devastation. Um, I just think that it was some kind of a test that I'm going to find out later that whatever I went through, it's going to be useful somehow later. Yeah. Like, they, uh, on the, huh? like on the level said, our faith has to be tested to make us stronger. Kind of like testing in the fire, how he uh, puts you in the fire to refine like silver and gold. And he also says he won't put more on us than we can handle. You know, uh -huh. so. Yeah, because I noticed that uh, there was times where I told him, I said, I can't. I said, you promised that we, you, we, we wouldn't go through more than what we can handle. Right, yeah. And I said, and I feel like I can't handle this. And uh, so then it would ease up some. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what it was. I think it was a test on my part. Because um, he has helped me so much through the years. And, and, and I know that I can always depend on him, you know, like, oh, I got I got your father in heaven. I mean, he's going to protect me through anything, you know, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Well, like, like Monica said, uh, if we're in Christ and not being attacked, then something's wrong. Satan's not going to come after his children. You know, no. he's going to come after the few of us that yeah. are left. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I just feel that, I mean, I feel very, very strong to the Lord Jesus Christ right now. Very strong. But I feel like I was tested. And I feel like I was reproved because I wasn't, he said he only reproves those who love, he loves. I think it's in Revelation 3. And yeah. I've been, you know, I have been kind of lazy about getting out there and talking to people and stuff like that. I do it online, but maybe he wants me to get out there. And, you know, I mean, I could go when, when everything clears up and, you know, just being at the store, I could just be at the store and bring them up, you know? Yeah. And maybe I haven't been doing that the, the way I, I should. So he reproved me, but uh, that's because he loved me. And maybe that's why uh, I went through what I did. Yeah. Just, you know, I think whoever this, whoever was behind all this, well, we know who it was, but it, they could have destroyed my house. You know, these helicopters, they could just, you know, put something right on my roof. Right. Yeah. Well, I really, I really think it goes back to like, it, like it says in uh, Second Thessalonians, where it says, uh, "The mystery of iniquity doth already work; only he who let it will let until he be taken out of the way." And then that wicked man of sin is revealed. So I think that right now God is restraining the evil. You know, there's a lot of evil in this world. But if God if God was to remove his restraint, then the devil would kill us all. Those helicopters would bomb your house. You know, he's restraining the evil right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. One hundred percent. 100 percent so he did protect me and i think the lord wants me to know hey i protected you you could have been killed i protected your daughter she went through hell getting to you <laughs> right yeah. you know and now she's fine she's even buying the house so she's even blessed with you know with the house uh, she doesn't have to live in an apartment anymore so a lot of good things came out of this you know with my family Right. So a lot of times we don't look at the good things. We just think about, you know, other, you know, the bad. Right. So a lot of good things did come out of this. And, um, but, I, but I do need, but I know that, I, you know, I know what I need to do, but I just don't want to do it, but I don't want to be swallowed up by the fish. So I'm going to do it. <laughs> You do what your heart desires you to do. God will, mm -hmm. God will lead you there. Yeah. Just remember, too, that we're, we are under grace. Yes. You know what I mean right now? Mm -hmm. yeah, the Lord, yeah. 
you know, there, there could be one person that's lonely and, uh, you know, don't know what to do and, and uh, doesn't know much about the Bible. I mean, they, there's a lot of people that don't even know about the Bible. They don't uh -huh. even never read it. But most won't listen, you know, and if, if there's someone God wants you to interact with, he'll put them in your path. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where before I really didn't have a desire to go up there. I just didn't. But, uh, I, you know, I, and, and I'll try it, you know, and then if he feels you feel me, glad to do it, do it. Yeah, we plant seeds and water seeds and God brings the increase and that's all there yep. is to it. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because there's cashiers I talk to at Food Lion, and, and I'm always, you know, they like me a lot, and we're always carrying on a conversation, you know, but I need to put, I need to say, oh, thank God, everything, but, you know, I need to put it in there somehow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, the Lord of God, I need, I need to do that. I mean, you gotta, you gotta be careful, too, because a lot of times you can turn people away. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they get scared. They're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you can, you know, I could always say, well, you know, God saved me from this horrible thing, you know, or something like that, you know. Well, let, let me tell you, you it, it, it's going to come natural. Whatever you're searching for and whatever you, you think that you need to do, God's going to lead the way. Just just ask him to, to, to push you in the right direction. And I'm telling you that it will come out naturally and you won't have to worry about any of that. You it, it, it'll it, it'll come out. Trust me. Yeah. I mean, don't trust me, trust him. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> but uh um we we've, we've been going 3 hours. Um do do you think Ann, that you got out everything that you could possibly tell us about your devastation over there? Yeah. I think I, I got it out. I mean, um, everybody, you know, has their own, you know, thinking about, you know, what they think happened. But people do need to prepare because it can happen to anyone and you have to have water. Yeah. What, what else should we have, in your opinion? I want to make that clear. You can live without electricity. You can go out to your car, you can park, you know, do your phone and all that stuff. You can even keep warm, you know, getting in your car. But you have to have water. And that's the hardest thing to get when something like this happens. What else would you, like, If there is there anything that you wish you would have had that you didn't have? Um, yeah, I wish that I would have filled up my containers because I have containers and I could okay. have filled those up with water and it would have made things so much better. Right. Because what I do is with my cat litter, I buy those big plastic containers that has a handle yeah. on it. Right. And I yeah. save those. And for some reason, I just got lazy and I didn't fill them all up and I should have filled all those up with water um because that was my biggest um regret that i didn't do do you have a water filter a good water filter yeah i have a water filter you know those pitcher things okay um, yeah yeah it's called zero something i have one of those and so yeah i filter my water and stuff and, and another thing too, um, you have to have canned goods. Right. You have to have canned goods. And I wanted to tell you too that emergency food that they give you, that survival food, it's so yeah. nasty. It's Is so it really? Oh, it's nasty. But my dog loves it. <laughs> What's well, good for something then? Yeah. But uh, yeah, you have to have canned goods and, and not go overboard. Some people go overboard, at, you know, with stuff. Um, but but you do have to think about emergencies. You know, at least have two weeks of supplies on hand. I've at always least. tried to do that. Uh, I went through my days of prepping when I first woke up back in 2012. I went crazy with it and uh, all that stuff. 
yeah, I went crazy with it, and I had to throw a lot of that stuff out. Yeah. And I've known other people that did that too, and they ended up throwing it out. So I would say canned goods, you know, that's probably the best. Rice, rice, beans, and bullets. <laughs> yeah, and then outside grills. Yeah, I don't cook outside. I need to get one of those grills. Yeah. And start cooking outside. Uh, and coffee. Oh my gosh, I missed my coffee so much. That's a good one to stock up on. Yeah, yeah. definitely. At least have some instant coffee, even yeah. though it's not the best. But mm -hmm. yeah, I did have. I did end up buying instant coffee and then adding cold water to it. Oh my gosh, that was so nasty. Uh, <laughs> I'll drink coffee any which way. <laughs> <Just kidding>. Yeah, <laughs> if I want it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you do have to prepare because you just don't know who's going to be next. Right. Because it, you it, weren't it, expecting it, were you? I'm sure you weren't expecting this to happen. You know, you never know. You never know. No, you never know. Yeah, because the United States, they're, I mean, it's being destroyed left to right. It is. You know. We might be in World War Three right now. You know, it might be a different type of war. I, oh, yeah. I think we are. Yeah. Mm hmm yeah he could he could you know use blizzards and stuff like that so you have to think about that kind of thing you know blizzards and especially if you got kids because that baby dying the other day that makes me pure oh man i'm so mad okay. that baby dying because they didn't put put her electricity on and the baby died wow oh my gosh that's horrible that, that's oh that's so bad so you know, people that have babies, they, they need to make sure that they have those um, coats and, and those things that you, you know, the, the blanket type things that everything's covered up. They need to have plenty of those. And get them at the end of the season sale. Like in the summertime, you know, uh, you know, stop for the next year or something like that. Right. Uh, warm clothes is a must. Now in Texas, it don't usually get cold. I lived in Dallas, but now it seems like you're all getting cold weather. Not here in Houston. <laughs> it's still hot there. We were we were 95 today. Ouch. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it was really hot day. I mean, 95 degrees in Houston. Horrible. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I was like, could you could you just back off a little? Yeah, horrible. Oh my goodness. Is there anything else, Anne? Um, I want to give you that platform. Is there anything else that you can can think of before we close this live out? We've been going for three hours. Um, but I I want I want you to be able to get everything that you want to get out and uh to tell the people what's going on and and how you're feeling. And, and I mean I just I, I think that's the most important right now. Um, is there anything you want to close out with? Well, uh, I want to close by saying stay away from the government. Absolutely. Stay away from FEMA. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I mean, I, no, I shouldn't say anything. I, I'm not going to say it. But stay away from <laughs> FEMA. Stay away from the government. Yep. Stay away from all that stuff. Yep. If you have to get a little trailer, like I said years ago, and get a little piece of land, you get that in, in that, you know, you can add on to it. You can do all kinds of stuff. Right. You know, but stay away from the government things. Like the government wanted to pay my um, taxes, I think it was, or something like that. And I pay my own taxes. I don't get involved. So don't get involved with yeah. that stuff. You know, that I... way they're not going to bother you because your name is nowhere. You know what I mean? People have to get Social Security, and they deserve to get that. But other than that, don't get involved. Right. I was just telling and Chuck the other day how I, how I wanted to buy a trailer and just go live on the beach, kind of. You know what I mean? And I was just saying how I'm tired of owning everything and whatever. I just want nothing. I want a little trailer. And uh, just we were talking about just how you don't need much to survive. You know what go I mean? Go off grid. Yeah. Yeah. Live. Yeah. 
Anyway. Yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah, we need to live a simple life because we're not going to take it to heaven anyway. Nope. nope. You know, we're not taking material things with us. So, you know, just make your life as simple as possible and in, in less responsibility. And, it, and, you know, that's the way I live. I don't get involved. I live a very simple life, right. as simple as I can. And I like it that way. Yeah, my life is pretty simple. Um, yes, I'm a part of the enslaved system, um, unfortunately, because I have to survive. But, um, you know, I, I don't pay my taxes, the IRS. I'm just kidding. Um, you know, I, I don't care. I, don't, I, I really don't care. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm not a thief or a liar, but I'm not a complier. And that's how I can sum it all up. You know what I mean? I, you know, yeah. all I want is the truth. We're, we're on a journey for the truth. And uh, all truth matters. I don't care what anybody says. All truth matters. And I am so appreciative of you coming on here. And, and I, I was just so happy that I could have this time with you. Um, Chuck, we were all, we were all rooting for you to be on here tonight. And I'm very thankful. Um, you're, you're more than welcome to ever come on this panel. If you ever want to, to speak your piece, you're more than welcome. Anybody is, um, you know, it's, uh, I'm, I don't know. I I'm, I'm out of words. Chuck? Well, YouTube, YouTube did try you. everything they could for me not to be on. Well, you, you're still on, and we got a three-hour yeah, live for we it. <laughs> way, so, but they did try because yes. I put the phone number in, and they said it, they accepted it, and then they did everything they could, so I couldn't get on. Right. So. Well, we're not Thank gonna. You. We're Thank we're gonna so do whatever we can to keep keep going, and and and. and I mean, they took down they took down my whole channel last week for the last live, for mm -hmm. trying to promote what was going on uh, in North Carolina, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm I'm very thankful I got my channel back up, but uh, we're, I'm not going to stop. N nothing's going to stop me, and I think we're all on the same. Uh, we're all feeling the same. Michelle, way. what what did you title the show tonight? Title it, uh, yeah. Put Ann in there, and I'm going to mirror. I'll mirror the show and put it on my channel. Uh, I, titled I, it, I titled it Getting Close and Personal with Chuck, okay. Ryan, Kip, Dub, and myself, special guest, Ann C. Okay. I'll That's put, like, it. special guest Ann C from Asheville. Yeah. Oh, but I'll, I'll mirror the show. And that's Ann. You're getting the truth out. You yeah. Know, that, that's, that's, that's great. That's what we want. That's what we were looking for. That's what we wanted to hear. Um, like I said, I have. There's nothing that you said I have any doubt in. And um, you've been around for a very, very long time, Anne. And I am so appreciative. I think everybody in this chat is appreciative of you for coming on. And uh, you're a trooper. You, Anne's you, great. Yeah. She's always been great. I mean, yeah, yeah. we appreciate you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, because I'm a quiet person, you know, I'm kind of shy person. So, yeah. You know. Well, hopefully you're not anymore because you know what? It's time for us to scream out. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, everybody. Thank you, Anne, for being on here with us. I appreciate you so much. I, I Much love to you. Um, oh, yeah, and love to all of you. And, uh, yeah. You're my hero right now. I'm telling you, uh, I'm just so appreciative that you did come on here and tell your story. You're the entire live. We dedicated it to you. So here you go. Um, everybody, thank you for being here with us. We're going to go ahead and call it a week, but uh, we will be back next week. Uh, you have anything to say, Brian, since you're so quiet in the background? No, you already said it. The show was for you. It wasn't me. So there we go. Uh, Chuck? Yep. I'm good. You said all it right. all. She said it all. All right. Yeah. Thanks, uh, everyone. Yeah, thank you, everybody, for being here. And, uh, yeah, we appreciate everybody 
this community, we love you. God bless you. Hang in there for the next week. And love you. Uh, thank you so much for coming on here. And we're going to go ahead and call it a night. Love you guys. Y'all have a good week. Love you Bye. too. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.